Hey guys, first of all, thank you for clicking on my video. In this video, I will show you guys how to make your own simple Bash script. So Bash or Born Again Cell is a unique cell and command line interpreter uh, to run uh, cell commands and can also become a programming language. So cell is basically what you run in your terminal. So this terminal is a program to to run your cell commands, right? So, and Bash is a cell c that can run cell commands, and cell command cannot run Bash commands. And so basically, uh, you just know you just don't have to know that. You just have to know that you are uh, what you run in the terminal is also Bash command unless you specify uh, the command in your cell, right? So, um, bash script is a file that you make uh, using a text editor to run multiple bash commands in one command, right? So what you want, uh, when you want to make a bash script is for example you do the uh, same thing uh, very often in your system um, maybe you run your system a, a backup of some folders like once a week and you're doing rsync to do that uh, manually using a terminal one by one directory like um, and very time consuming right you have to remember the commands you have to do it like cd change directory etc etc and rsync and wait for the command to finish, etc. Or maybe you're running a command, uh, you're running some programs like every time you boot your system, you're gonna do the same thing again and again. So that's when you want to make a bash script. So um, bash script can save your time. You don't have to do the command, uh, so many commands, you just run one single bash script and it will do it for you. Right? So I'm gonna use an example enough uh, because talking is not gonna help you guys understand, right? And I'm g I'm gonna tell you guys that this this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial that can let you master best uh, make uh, make any best script using just use uh, just by watching this tutorial, right? Best command is a very brute. Uh, language and you cannot run uh, learn it in a single run you have to experience it yourself so this tutorial uh, or this video is to show you guys um, how to make this command and uh, give you guys some inspiration on how to learn to make your own command uh, best uh, script okay so for example uh, I have two downloaded two images here and I've got a dual monitor a uh, dual monitor setup and I want to make my uh, KDE plasma desktop to uh, use the white image of two split uh, two I want to so basically I want to split this image into two so that I can uh, use uh, one in my left monitor and another image in my right monitor so I'm gonna split this and by uh, doing my own experiment by uh, on the terminal by typing and searching online of course I know that convert is uh, image magic uh, command line right it can it can scrub my image into two split the image into two so I want to do that and I'm gonna show you guys the difference when I make it in the terminal and I do it in bash script right so the command that I'm gonna use is convert crop, right? Uh, and I want to make it 50% uh, times 100%, so it can be uh, vertically uh, cr split it. And then uh, I'm gonna tell the file name to be uh, in my download folders, and the name is Red Suter, and I want to rename. I want to put it in my desktop like 
convert it I want to rename it to convert it and then I want to make uh, D to make uh, the file name end it with two numbers like this right so the command is run and now I've got two images split it images of my red shooter image here right but I've got another file here I want to change so I I'm gonna use the same command again for this right and that's only two files what if I have a uh, hundred files in my in my download folders that I want to convert right it's gonna be very very difficult of course you can run the the uh, the for function here like for for image and gpg so I can do it like uh, and this download all my images in gpg right I'm gonna t do what do convert crop of course I can do it in terminal uh, whatever you can do it in terminal you can make it a bad script right so that's the logic here so that's also how I make my bash script so before I do it in the, I, I type in the code into the script I I do it in terminal to test if things is working in the terminal before I make a script so that's the logic uh, in making your own bash script okay so I'm just not gonna do that here because uh, it's too time consuming I'm just gonna show you guys how to make the bash script so to make a bash script I'm going to cd into my download folder first so that you guys can see it here and I'm gonna use film you can use whatever type text editor you want and I'm gonna make a new file for example split image dot sh you don't need to add, add dot sh it can run without that uh, extension but I want to make it so that I know that uh, that is a cell command right cell script and the first thing you're gonna need is to add in bin bash this 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 line is needed so it is to tell the bash that this is the best command or you can add in like uh, sh here it's the same like I said before as um, bash can run sh command but sh command cannot run bash command so but I'm just gonna use bash for now and add in command so in bash command is done with hashtag so uh, maybe I want uh, just to let myself know what this command is for my command to do sp split image into two alright and type and in this section we will type in whatever we want uh, the script to do so first I'm going to go into my CD change directory into my download folder so I'm gonna use the home variable here this home variable is uh, is already built into your system most of the time and uh, downloads so this is uh, so now we are in home da uh, download folder and I'm going to use for mm, make a new variable called image in gpg so I want to tell the sys uh, the command uh, the best that uh, whatever the file that ended with gpg so this uh, asterisk here means that whatever the file name is the gpg I'm going to I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do convert and crop into 50% slash 100% and I will call the image this image variable that I just created I'm going to call it by using this dollar sign
and then I'm going to make the image it uh, output this is the input and this is the output and convert mm, convert cell uh, convert command will uh, make it the file into uh, 0 1 and 0 and 0 and 1 so we don't need to worry about that and then done right so this is the simple bash script that I, I just created I'm just gonna save this now and then I'm going to open a terminal another terminal I'm gonna cd into download okay I'm going to so before you run the command you make sure that this command uh, is make it executable so you click this here if you want to run it from terminal uh, text edit your file manager or I want to use terminal I'm just gonna uh, use ch mode plus x for executable and split image sh and I'm um, to run the best cell command and um, best script you use this dot and slash and the file name uh, split images so I run the command and as you can see it created uh, four more files here so whatever the file that I have is uh, ended with gpg will be converted so the next time for ex uh, so you maybe you want to move the split image command into your file system uh, to your user local bin this is the this is the place where you put in your script so that you can just call them from here from your without uh, CD into downloads because this is the uh, the path that is configured to be uh, to be the path where your commands will be so for example I got Jack server I can just type in Jack server and it is it will shown in your terminal already you don't have to type in download uh, CD into your user local bin like I, d I CD into my download folder here so that's one thing you got uh, you you need to know alright so now we have just made a simple bash script and basically there is no ending on how how you can make a bash script you can make it easiest script of on the entire world or you can make the the very uh, very complicated script here so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys uh, how my my script here. I'm gonna see it into GitHub and see it into my scripts. Uh, I've got uh, two files here. I'm just gonna try to run it for you. Git pull, for example. This is the script that I made to all the repositories that I have in my github into my local system so for example as I'm just gonna uh, press 1 here it will ask me if you want to pull this repository I, I type in UI and then it will show me that already up to date so this is and press another key and it will uh, ask me another sec selection I can press uh, 7 to sing this this folder the script folder that I'm already in here or I can just press 0 to exit so I'm going to show you guys the code here so this is the script I made so this is the command and uh, this is the variable that I made for the script and I made a lot of local dealers variable here uh, and a lot of variables here and this is the function that I made to call the pool number one so my local deal, deal one is dot files and my remote target one is origin and this is the pool one function and this function will cd, CD into my github deal or my home github and then if if it is if and this this uh, this will 
uh, find if there is a folder name local deer variable so if there is a folder named dot files in my github folder here then cd into that folder or if there is no folder like this so uh, it will show me that this directory dot files is not found please make sure it exists exists in your home github folder right so and this is another thing that while true do and read read is a command to to he will read the input that you put in your terminal just like I put in one two three that is read what read do with reads does and then slash p is it will echo the 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 thing that I type in so I will type I type one and it will show me a one there and this is the uh, confirmation and I made a new function called yn and in case yn is y and y so if I type in y it will do this else it will break and if I type the other things other than these two it will uh, show me uh, tell ask me to please answer yes or no it will show me that uh, echo in my terminal and the command that I do is git pull and ram1 origin master and break and break break is to uh, to break this case thing and then I'll if it's done it will echo press any key to continue and it will read as n1 uh, this is to read uh, slash s is to silence so this p is p is to read uh, echo my input and silent is it will not echo my input and n1 is uh, means uh, one command so so I type in one times of any command of any keyboard to continue right so this is the git pull 2 and then 3 and then I use a uh, pull all and like this and then the function main is where uh, I will call it the end of the file so I call main and main will call all these all these functions here so this is the uh, function uh, you guys can check it out in my github repository you can check it out uh, I will I'll put it in the description below and you guys don't need to remember all these commands you just need to uh, learn how to understand this and of course there's no good way to code right you can code it whenever you want so for example uh, this is how I do it but in the future maybe I want to I want to be able to read what the folder I have and pull the folder when uh, pull the folders by the by the thing that I put for, for example it will ask me uh, what folder you want to pull and what what is the remote target you want to pull from and I will put in insert dot files and will pull c cd into my dot files so you can just improve your code uh, every time there is no good way and bad way to do things but the good the best way to learn is to experience is your experience it yourself okay so I think that's all about this video I showed you the basic uh, bash commands and I showed you the uh, more uh, complicated commands here and uh, best cell script here I hope you guys can uh, learn how to understand rather than to remember okay there is no way a human brain can remember all the things so what you do is you type in the terminal so for example you want to uh, do bash script to copy your files you got to copy it here first using the cp command you learn how to copy copy and uh, works you do for example you want an option like cpr and if you guys are using zsh when you put in this it will show you guys what options you got 
here very interactively and this will help to make your own best script better too so. okay I think that's all about this video thank you for watching guys and I hope you like this video and please give me a like if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos from me and I will see you guys in the next video and have a nice day guys